Hello my crypto friendly people, you're here because you want 10 altcoins that are going to make you rich, but there's a problem with that. We can't just buy everything, set and forget about it, because you will get financially wrecked by 2025, but don't worry. I'm going to tell you a couple of stories, I'm going to show you exactly how to make money by 2025 using coins I love. Keep in mind there's many other coins in this market, these are not ones, forget about it all. But chances are, you have a great bill run. That's what you're here for, that's what you're hoping for, so starting over what does starting over mean starting over for me could be phase one and just starting to buy cryptocurrency right the good news about this is i've been through one of the biggest traumatic bull runs and bear markets of my lifetime and as of all of lessons i wish i would have took to the bank because i would have made over a million dollars and that was just being safe taking profits and riding other coins that i wish i would have bought that i've looked over so we're going to discuss all that give you a thesis behind these coins but just keep in mind there's many other coins in this market. These are not forget about it. So if your favorite little coin is not on this list, don't worry, be on the next one. So this is the most important, or this is important, because buying the wrong altcoin can completely wreck your bull run for 2025. Let me talk about stuff. Now, I'm not saying these coins are dead, okay? I'm a big quant holder, massive quant holder, not performing well, but let's talk about XRP. In the last year, I think Whoopsie describes XRP pretty perfectly. Nothing's happened, right? So in the last year, you are down, what is it, 20 odd percent? You'd have been better if hold stablecoins cash. And this doesn't include your minus 20%, let's just say an XRP, but it's more than that. Because you look at meme coins, you look at some AI coins, they're up three, four, five, six hundred percent. So you're like minus 626% or 622% because the opportunity cost of riding these other coins where you're holding XRP is massive. It's not just against USDT, even Bitcoin's up at two or three X since this time frame. Okay? Big problem, nothing wrong with it. This is why you never go 100% in every altcoin, but if you're 100% XRP, what a bad decision that was. That was stupid. Okay, I'm not selling sell your XRP, but that was fucking stupid, bro. And that's how I felt with QNT. Good news is I'm nowhere near 100%. I'm nowhere near 50%. I'm nowhere near 20%. But I am heavy-ish on QNT. And yeah, not doing well. Down about 40% in the last year. That fucking sucks. Because remember, the opportunity cost of riding the coins that we're going to talk about in a second has been massive. Now, I'm still long. How long do you hold for, though? Something you need to ask yourself. Another one, Monero, the game can suck. Monero's done nothing. There's been a few problems with Monero, Binance delisted it, and OKX, I believe, delisted it. That's why you've seen these massive spirals, because once a coin gets delisted, it's not a good sign. People start to f lose the bags, lose the fear, and then price starts to dump. So this actually has done well for two major exchanges delisting this coin. So Monero, not a bad play, but it's again, it's done nothing. We're trying to make money, so we can't marry our bags. It's one of the most important things. Now, on the good side, this is the difference. Ponky, I think that's what it is, and Turbo. This is the opportunity cost, right? Because again, we can compare it to stablecoins. Oh, you're only minus 22% on XRP. Well, no, because Ponky is up fucking million percent. Not really, but you know what I'm saying. Same with Turbo. A gazillion percent. Not really, but you know what I'm saying. And the point is, the future gains are massively missed because you're in XRP. You're in QNT. You're in HBAR. HBAR is actually up 20%, I think, on the year, but... It's the opportunity cost of other coins. You're already in cryptocurrency anyways. Yes, 20% on a year is fucking fantastic in stocks and real estate. But you're in crypto. And these coins are destroying it. Look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's up at two, 2x two in the last year. Two and a bit x. So again, it's 100%. If you're not beating Bitcoin, you might as well hold BTC. Obviously, we don't know that at the time. This is why we're diverse. You know, coins, my coins, QNT might be down, H bar is up, but QNT might be down. But I've got other coins that are fucking tripled, quadrupled. And that's why you can never be 100% all in. You can never marry your bags. Now, as you can see, not only choosing the correct coins is super important for your future, but it's also important if you're a new investor for your sanity. Okay? Because what tends to happen is a wife you start to lose focus because you maybe go to the bar and they say, oh, cryptocurrency is a scam. I'm just in this new place right now. There's two guys just setting up a couch that my girlfriend ordered. And I was telling about crypto. He seemed to watch. I got a little bit hesitant. I was like, stay the fuck away from me, bro. I know what Glasgow's like. Don't give my address away. Anyways, super guarded property. Good luck. And he said, oh, cryptocurrency is a scam. I lost all this money. I heard about this guy. I heard about this. I was like, good for you, bro. Not for me. Not for us on this YouTube channel. We're fucking here to print. Okay. So what happens is a newbie, a Jeffrey, gets fucking wrecked and his sanity goes out the window. Okay, that can't be you. Now, I found this. This was about Voyager. This is not typically a crypto coin, but this is what typically happens. This was me with Celsius, by the way. But I'm still fucking here, bro. All those other YouTubers, they disappeared. I got sad for a day. I got a little bit upset. And I'm back in the game. You can't let this stuff, like, wreck you, man. It does fucking suck at the time. And it's like, oh, what if, what if, what if? I had, like, five Bitcoin in Celsius, like, 100 Ethereum. It fucking sucks, man. 
Got a little bit of cash back, but nowhere near enough. So, this guy lost 20 to 25k, it makes his stomach stick, and I believe fell for the Ponzi scheme, blah de blah blah 10 years of his savings, fuck my life, costing me my family's trust, I treated them like a bank. Okay, this sucks, man, but this is cryptocurrency, you know what you're getting into. Same here, I was sitting next, I was sitting on the toilet, but my mouth told me I was dry heaving, and I was telling her news, what a fucking pussy, man, come on, man, you're man, no crying, man, let's just keep going, man, it sucks, it's a little bit, okay, have a little bit. But get back in the game. I guarantee these guys are not in the game anymore. And I guarantee these guys will come back in 2025. It's too fucking late, bro. Too late. You'll lose again. You take lessons in anything life, business, the gym, whatever you're doing, a bad experience in the town. And you say, okay, won't have that again. Because the guy that has a thousand scars knows how to play the game. A guy that's just like winning everything, eventually he will fucking die. Okay? You have to have massive lessons. You have to feel the pain of losing money. We're talking about cryptocurrency now. It sucks, but you get back in the game, okay? So, here's the good news. Once you've been through a bull and bear market, you've seen all the booby traps, okay? This is what I generally believe. Although you don't know exactly what's going to happen, but you can kind of time predict at least the four-year cycle. Coins are a little bit more difficult, but you can also see what's easy to predict with certain market caps, certain narratives. You're never going to be 100%, okay? HBAR, QNT, Illumium for me are not doing that great, although HBAR is up. But the other two are not doing that great. But I've got a fucking gazillion other plays. Heavy. And they're printing. And that's all you can do. Because you never know when QNT, for example, and Illumium, and that example is going to pop off. They might never pop off. They might go to fucking zero. But you're spread. Now, if you're a QNT XRB holder and XLM holder, that's a fucking disaster because you're almost investing in the same niche. And you better pray that niche as well or it's fucking game over. You waste your bull run. Now, very easy to predict when you can see certain stuff. So plan B, this is what I like to see. So as you can see, 2021 cycle. Okay, this is where I got wrecked. Because even I believe he got wrecked because he was calling for 100k Bitcoin. Never fucking happened. This is obviously the Bitcoin miner revenue. But again, this is the exact same chart. The exact same chart as Bitcoin's price. The exact same. So you can follow this stuff you start to understand. 2017, 2013. Okay? And this is what we expect for 2024 and 2025. You see the bear markets. It's the same game. Pull up the Bitcoin price. It's the exact same game as this Bitcoin miner. So he says Bitcoin miner bottom in April of 2024 having I expect price to double from today in three to five months. Bullish, moonshot, maybe, whatever. 150k expected end of year, break 70k today for sure, correct. Now I'm not here for that. You guys know what I like to do, my USD dominance chart. But what I can sell you is governments will keep printing money exponentially. Thus Bitcoin will keep going up exponentially. And when this happens, all it's go crazy. And you are a happy man. Okay, let's not do what we did last time in the last bill run, and we fucked up. Okay, we're here to be happy, we're here to make a lot of money, and we're here to do it safely, we're here to take some educate bets, I'm going to talk about the coins, educate bets, and let's get in the coins. Now, first one is ICP. Why do I like ICP? I kind of broke these down, hopefully you can stick around, because I think it's important to understand what the use cases are, although some of them don't have any use cases at all, they're just a piece of white paper written by a fucking kid, and that's fine. Okay, we're here to make money, we understand the game, most coins in the bill market will go crazy, but it's our goal to not get hit by the booby traps, okay? So decentralized web three, no one can move your website. This is this is great. This is this is what you want because very much now everything is centralized. If I make a website, government or whoever controls the fucking interwebs can just say, nah, I don't like that guy. Don't like that guy. Take it down. So users can interact with any website dApps at no cost, which is good, super free. As the web devs pay for gas fees and retains burning ICP token. This is bullish because this creates a flywheel for ICP. Remember, you can look at the use cases, etc. But most of the time, you're here to make ICP. I'm not interested in building websites. I've got one website, so you can check it out in the second link in the description. That's not going to go down. It's just a VSL and then a call. That's it. But if you're obviously serious and a developer, etc., you care about this stuff. But we care about ICP. Now, users get to vote in the blockchain, which is good. And was this was almost destroyed. I'll show you that in a second. I'll show you that right now. This this chart was fucking destroyed by Sam Bankman Freed. And um, rest in peace in his jail cell, where he belongs. If you got wrecked in FTX, again, take it as a lesson. Get back in the game. And why do you do this? Sam and FTX were big holders of Solana, and they knew ICP was better technology. Okay? Whether you believe that or not, that's just what I believe in. I love Solana. I'm bullish in Solana. But as you can see, numbers don't lie. Numbers do not lie. It's a great team. They're always out and about. They're not here to shy away. And they're in the game. When you look at TradingView, I want to bring each of these coins up in TradingView on the Gordon Gage indicator. Again, you get full access to this if you join the community. Second link in the description. No hard sell. It just makes it easier to trade coins. As you can see here in the weekly, called a GG range. It called, obviously, the sell as well. So you would have printed on this short term if you are trading. And this isn't even short term. This is back in October. You got a juicy long one here when it called it. And it called it a 5x. And then you could have shorted, got out the market. And then you could have rebought. How beautiful is the Gordon Gage? 
Don't ask me, it just prints. So ICP is the first one, I love it. And for that reason, I think it's a great buy because you're buying at eight or nine dollars and the previous Altamaya is kind of manipulated. You could say 400, you could say 600. It doesn't really matter. It's a top coin, it's gonna do well in my opinion and it doesn't need to even get to its all time high for you to be fucking rich. That's why I like it, great play, has a great use case, that's it. Sui, not a lot of you guys like this coin, don't know why, but the tokenomics unlocks more. Sui is significantly undervalued relative to its competitors by this metric. It's a layer one that people actually use. I use Sui as well, if you're on Turbo Finance, we're staking or DeFi pools, Sui and USDC, and that's pretty nicely. Not as high yield as it was at the start, but I get free USDC and I get free Sui. So it's one of the biggest DeFi projects out there. Don't take it for granted. Injective market itself, DeFi, but Sui has 20x per potential. The apps are massive on it. That's what I'm saying with that. Turbo Finance, there's many other platforms as well. It's got great tech, product, and TVL, and there's a lot more room to run in this bull market, and it's getting heavily thrashed right now. So if you want to build a position on financial advice, you do what you want, Sui could be a good play. Top three in daily transactions along much blows blockchain changes. Again, what does that mean? That was a mouthful. I nearly fucked that up, didn't I? It means numbers don't lie, okay? Transactions. People are using the network, which means demand will increase. Supply goes down. Sue's getting wrecked right now. I would look at it for a DCA if you're looking at this position. Again, you can go on top of finance um, and get staking or DeFi pills. You can see the TPS can be Solana. If it likes, and obviously Ethereum fucking sucks for this, but obviously we like Ethereum. And you can see the gas fees, okay? Numbers don't lie. I think Sui will have its day. And if Sui hits $5, I will get a Sui tattoo um, on my neck. One of our guys in our private community, Parker, he just got a Sui number plate for his car. And look at the DCA. Again, look at the guarding gauge, man. Called it January 1st. You could have read this up. This is on the weekly, remember? You can go short time frames. It's a nice little 2.5x. It called the sale. You could have shorted this down. I made a bag fuck ton of money. Guarding gauge is not always perfect, by the way. I'm not shilling my own thing here. But you can see it's pretty effing good. It's pretty effing good when it calls it. Let's talk about the next coin. Um, Tong coin. Tonkline is very interesting. It's a very interesting play because nobody seems to know what this coin is or talk about it. And it's a top eight coin. It's gained so much, it was completely under the radar. I don't say FOMO this because again, if you look at the Garden Gauge indicator, you're buying tops. Again, look at the Garden Gauge. Called it, called it. It just called a beautiful turn here. You do the maths, three, three X, not great on like normal standards, but you know, XRP, whole year, didn't do anything. HBAR, didn't really do anything. QNT, didn't do anything. Illumium, lost your money. Called it perfectly. Nothing wrong with a 3x in today's market, boys, before the bull run. Again, Ton, open network, it's basically for Telegram. If you use Telegram, Ton is just, they're just in the wallets, man. If you've not seen a new update, like, you can have a wallet in Telegram. Okay, this is, this means the acronym, however you say that word, Telegram open network is created by Telegram. The Ton coin is the native currency, which is used for network operators, games, apps, DeFi, all that cool stuff. Again, we don't really give a fuck about this. We care about this. And it's already printing right now. Again, you'd be buying at all-time highs, so you have to do the math on you. If you have the Gordon Gage indicator, you can plug that in. You can maybe look at a better entry in the daily. But, you know, it's doing well so far. The Ton system uses a technology that talks about speed, security. These are all great stuff. This is why people invest in it. And this is a platform that can build up to a million transactions per second because of its diverse, dynamic, sharding technology. Whatever the F that means, we don't care because, again, we care about this. blah blah blah, blah. Silver products, Dexies, Bridges. Again, Great project. We'll talk about another project underneath the Ton ecosystem that I think will give you better returns, more risk. But that's just a great play. HBAR, nobody likes this coin. HBAR sucks, man. HBAR sucks. I got 1.1 million of these coins. It's done nothing in the last year. Nothing. Again, 20% is nice, but me holding that 1.1 million coins compared to other coins I could have read even for a 2 to 3x like Ton would have fucking printed so much money. But I'm on this game, I'm not buying anymore. I've set and forget about it. My average entry, I think, is four or five cents because I was buying some at 14 cents heavily in the last bull run. I still have that video on my YouTube channel where I buy $40,000 worth of it. Whoopsie doopsie that was, but I said I would do it. And yeah, you don't win them all. You don't win them all. But again, it's not, there's not out the radar yet. I think it's the most undervalued asset of the century because the price will catch up eventually. All I can say is HBAR has this built difference. The guy, Dr. Baird, he's created quite groundbreaking technology, I believe. The fact that you can do thousands of transactions per second, again, not as good as fucking Telegram, as a fraction of the cost, have multiple enterprise use cases. Again, the team behind this, Google, Boeing, all these big players, these are investors. These guys are not here to lose money. They might be more safer. They're not going to buy shit coins. But again, these guys are big players. Anybody would have any DLT tokenization of assets, a multi trillion dollar industry, this is very true. The platform isn't perfect, by the way. Its software is consistent being built and improved. The team are human beings with strengths and weaknesses, and their real instances come. So again, these guys are all docs. That's why I like HBAR, and I've been a long-term believer in HBAR. Tokenomics aren't great, because they keep fucking releasing supply to the market, but we are at 71% right now. This was at 45%, I think, in the last last bear, or the bear market a year or so ago. But again, 
Numbers do not lie, brother. You can just see right here. It's this nice little website. People are using it. It's pretty much free to use. It's governmentized. Again, this is why I initially invested in it, although the price hasn't done that great because of all these big players. Price will eventually catch up. I generally believe that. If you look on TradingView, again, call the Gordon Garage what it is. Called this one perfectly. You read it all the way up. Could have took profits up here at a nice 2.5x or called it when it told you to sell at about 80%. It's called a recent sell. Could have shorted the market or shorted HBAR. And you would have been printing. So again, great play. Again, don't invest in any of these if you don't understand what I'm saying. You guys have to do your own research. Render. One of my top AI coins. I missed out on this in 50 cents. I'm very pissed off. But I have been adding to it substantially. Nothing as massive as I would like. But look at Render right now in the last seven days. It's starting to dump. And I'm starting to heavily consider next YouTube paycheck, I guess you could say. Start buying a fuck ton of this. Fuck ton of this. And again, you'll be able to just, just buy it now. I've got a decent amount, but I want to really do a big chunk. So AI surge is a equivalent of the dot-com bubble. We know this in cryptocurrency. And I say this because people throw money at any AI you can see happening. So that's pretty much true. Everything with AI and crypto, people just chuck money at it. But Render seems to be the only one that's pretty much built on NVIDIA. If you check that stock out, you'll see that's doing fucking fantastic for a stock. And they essentially have the perfect product. AI image generation is going to be huge, and the network has proven to be a reliable source of rendering for big end clients. And you combine this with a bull run, and that's where you get these massive candles by 2025. As the need for image generation increases, so again, the massive use case, it is very expensive, though. Like I said, it runs on NVIDIA, but it could be very expensive. This is the only problem I can see right now. There's going to be a heavy flow of money in crypto, and this time around, it will be worth an AI boom. Again, this is why I believe this is the next dot-com bubble. You have an opportunity to have what your fucking dad or your grandpa, depends on how old you are, young you are, had in 2000, whatever it was. And this is the this is the game that we're playing, combined with this bull run by 2025, combined with Donald Trump, hopefully winning the November election. It's just a win-win-win. Never go 100% in, though. You cannot rely on that, because you will get wrecked if it goes wrong, and I don't want anybody to get wrecked, but... I believe it has the potential to at least hit $100, given the circulating supply, the AI hype and influx of money. It's going to be absolutely crazy. So again, let's look at Render um, as a team. Again, one of the strongest, I think, founders in the game, fully doxxed. I said this in the last video, get this guy to have an actual picture manual. I want to see your face just in case you do anything sketchy. But yeah, Render, it's it could be great. Have I got the, the chart here? If we can just have a look at it on the GG. Let me just give this a little refresh. Because I always like to see the GG, see if it called this one correct. Um, that is not the right coin. Where is Render, boys? Okay, here we go. So let's put this on the daily. In fact, we'll bring this back to the weekly. Let's just see. There you go. That's all you need to know. So Render, again, when I was interested in it back when the first time I was in Thailand, it fucking called this perfectly, man. And I was going to buy a fuck ton of this, but I got distracted and buying aluminum and H-bar. There you go. You do the return. Okay, called a little red here, could be a good short and opportunity um, because it's pumped up so massively, but yeah, you do the maths, it's up to you to decide what you want to do. Illumium, a little annoying project because I'm down about mm, not almost 50%, but 50% is my last recent buy if you look at the year to date, give or take. I was buying this, give or take about $80, so yeah, not doing that well, but I don't know why, and this is very surprising to me because it's taken so much of a beating. If we look at one of the best looking games in industry, and that's not hard to fucking do because I think Shrapnel is the best looking game. It's a smaller market cap if you haven't checked that out. But crypto games are a fucking joke. They look like shit. Nobody wants to play these games, man. Nobody really wants to play these games. But Illumium, to me, is a game, if I was a gamer, I would actually play. Like, this looks fucking beautiful, honestly. It's not AAA. These guys quote AAA, and I wrote AAA, but... I think it looks very good as a game. You can earn coins, etc. And um, the supply is very good. If you look at the supply, it's only 8 million less than Bitcoin. If you look at uh, the Gordon Gage, there's your call. And it called a short on the weekly, which is nice. But again, Lumium have a lot of things going on. Just the price is taking a beating. I said the first AAA game, I would argue with this, to be launching a Web3. Again, the last bull run, man. You forget about this. They did this with just market, and it was just a demo. They never even released a game. Now they have a game. I think in the next bull run, just looking at again, it's not always guaranteed, but they actually have a game, so it could create a lot of use in the 2025 bull run. They've got partners and long-term strategies with GameStop. The future is looking great. You know, CS:GO. I don't know if you guys know that game. They do about 40 billion in dollars, and skins were traded in 2019 in just one game alone. And that's done with a company restricts trading, etc. And Illumium wants to make this future of the gaming monetization should be open. And player owned with Align Economics. So take that for its worth. This would be the best DCA. Um, 
just because I don't understand why it's so beat down. It's just so beat down. The marketing does suck, though. So let's talk about boring ones real quick. Bitcoin, Ethereum. I wanted to put these in. Okay, I'm not saying we need to buy these ones, but these are guaranteed gains. These will make you money. I guarantee that. Even at the price today, if you hold by 2025, they're making money. They're not going to make you much. Depends on what you have. But again, look at the guarding gauge on that. Absolutely perfect. And if we look at Ethereum, we'll probably see the same thing. Yeah, absolutely perfect. So I don't want to go too long on them. You know about Bitcoin. You know about Ethereum. Um, you guys know about that. But again, you decide how much you want. Now, riskier. But these are pretty nice for me right now. These are two that I have in uh, DeFi pools. I've got a very big DeFi or a decent size DeFi pool in Brett. And the reason why I like Brett and paired against Ethereum because I know Ethereum is going to go up. That's guaranteed. Brett, number one meme coin in base. Coinbase don't have a coin. When Coinbase lists this coin, MAXC needs to list this coin as well. They only have the futures listed. I don't know why they don't have the spot yet. Don't let this go over your heads. But I am printing a lot of Brett, man. I've printed about 15K Brett and value i don't know in the last last month or so which is very nice maybe even less so this is making a lot of cash on the side but remember i'm not interested in this i just claimed this more to 87 dollars i'm not interested in 87 dollars man i'm interested in this and this because i compound that what i'm doing right now as you can see my metamask i'm actually just keeping the gains so 15k in brett and a nice half in ethereum there just already for free and i've rebounded these before i've made way more than that but again that's why i believe in that what i don't want to happen is brett to go fucking crazy and then I'll be sold into Ethereum. That's one of the downsides of liquidity pools. If you don't know what you're doing, you have to understand that impairment loss is a real thing. Brett, nothing much on the chart. You can just, we don't even have it just because it pumps so much. It's on the weekly, but you know, it doesn't take a genius to see where this is going. In my opinion, I do think this is a minimum of a dollar coin. Um, it could go way beyond that. Just looking at, you know, Coinbase's you know, future plans to upload all these users to the base chain. Yeah, Redo. We talked about Tom before. This is the number one meme coin on Telegram or the Tom ecosystem, should I say. Right now, could be a good DCA. It's done fantastically well since here. Again, we bring this up and redo. Um, we don't really have much. We have the massive short. And I was buying this when it was shorted on the weekly. You might call me an idiot because you ign I ignored my own guard engage, but I just wanted to build a decent sized stack to put in here. I didn't want to leave this too much. I'm holding 40%, by the way, of this whole pill's supply. Okay, I compared this with Ton, which I believe in Ton. We mentioned that number two or number three. And also, if you want another little gamble, what you'll earn in as well for free money is Dorov. That's like a shittier, shittier meme coin, but you never know I'm earning this for free, so I might as well just keep this Dorov. You never know, super small market cap. And that is pretty much this, I believe that's the CEO of Telegram. So these coins are all tied together. Telegram's massive, 900 million users, 300 million I think are active. A lot of these people are in crypto. You guys probably have been in some crypto telegrams group. For me, it's a speculative bet, but it's enough where if it goes to shit, okay, I won't be sad, I've got like 6K in this one and 6k in the ton and then you know durov i'm printing for free but if it goes well that could be 150k it could be 250k you never fucking know so again that's all i've got those are 10 coins i'd love to know in the comments below what you think of this list remember there's many more don't be sad if it didn't fucking list your perfect altcoin there's gonna be many more videos we do like this but let me know your thoughts on these and if you hold them and your future price predictions put a couple of comments below peace take care see you next one brothers